Hi, what is up, Frizzell family? Brandon here, Frizzell Guitars. Long time no see. Allergies are killing me today. So, uh, been working on several other projects. I've just been slammed with personal stuff and stuff here that I haven't had the chance to or really uploaded anything lately. And I apologize for that, but, uh, you know, I try to upload as much as I can. But some jobs, you know, come and go quickly. Well, I wouldn't say quickly, but people bring it in and, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you don't have time to do a video or other stuff. But this is an Apollo base. Uh, it's a little Tysco base. And you're one of my, you're wondering, what's it doing here? Or what's going on with this, refret? It's only, it's not that, you know, it's, it's a cheaper base. But the principle of this thing or the principle of this is is it's got some sentimental stuff to it he wants it fixed wants to play it on stage as a as an old sentimental piece so that's what we're going to do he plays in a band a well-known band around the a well-known rock band and uh we'll have a video when it's all finished of him playing it and whatnot missing a pickup so i gotta find that if anybody's got any suggestions but, we'll go through and I'll uh, refret. It's got a zero fret and all that good stuff. So, yeah. I will be back on you guys whenever this gets some more work done. What's up, Frizzell family? So, we got new frets in there. We've got level crowned now to polish. So that was a uh, that was a fun level crown and polish. Take me long. I stopped to do a few things in between, um, and pretty much it. I'm pretty overall happy with how. So it took me a little bit longer, just because it had I had to nip the tangs off and stuff because it is bound. But that was no problem. It was just tedious. But um, the frets that were in there were different than anything I've seen. But this is a 1960 guitar. And some of you guys may be like, hey, why are you, you know, this guitar worth it? But to the person that owns it, it's worth it to get it fixed. They want to turn this thing into a monster. I'll just tell you straight now, they want to turn this thing into a beast. And that's just their goal. So... I will show you when I polish it up and all that stuff, but uh, that's pretty. All right, Frizzell family, check it out. So we got the zero fret on the way, some parts, and uh, this thing's gonna be a nice little player. We get finished. So um, I'm gonna, you know, hope you enjoy the rest of your all's day and whatnot and uh check it out and make sure you like subscribe all right what is up for Zell family um sorry i'm coming at you a little bit late um with some things some videos and trying to do better about that but i've just had a lot going on personally and i've been trying to deal with that these last couple weeks or the last few weeks here so that has been something but I just wanted to let you know that the base is finished. So, the base is, you know, this was a tough one. I'm not going to say it wasn't. This base was every bit a tough job. It's just because that this base needed a lot of TLC and stuff like that. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, the transformation on this base. I end up having to go with the original bridge because we couldn't find one that matched up right. I couldn't so 
but this is a solid piece I think he's gonna enjoy it and stay tuned because later we'll have his reaction in another video mm -hmm.